That's what I've been waiting for. Can you believe it? Now, why this game? This was a really big game uh, for the Neo Geo. Anyone knows that who has been into it for a while. And this was like in every MVS machine around my way, you know. And, uh, of course, never came out as an original AES game. So, uh, this person converted his MVS cart, put it in an AES case. It's even got a little label on it, reproduction label. And that's cool. It's just what I wanted. Get to put it in the AES. So we'll put put it in. See if it works. So we're in, in my neck of the woods. This game was everywhere. Like I was saying, it's just about every MVS had one of these. And it was a big hit game, just kind of like how Metal Slug came out on the scene, and it just became a big, huge hit. It's a real cool game that uh, casuals can get into, you know? Always like that. One of the few title uh, games that were released. Just that in itself makes it cool. I always thought it was Neo Geo was coming up when... Uh, title start making games for it. Never was like really like really good at this game, but I always love that music. Crap. Save my bacon at the last minute. Screw up here. So it's funny how S and K would bring out certain games, I guess, and others they wouldn't bring out, which is totally weird to me. Like, you'll have some releases on the AES and others you won't, you know? I guess it just depends on the time frame, what was going on to SNK at the time. Because like I've said many times, like, back in the day, like, back in, like, after 1995, I could never find Neo Geo anything, no matter where I went. Like, even the import shops that we used to have back back then. I can't even find them then, so... And it was a very rare thing if you even had the money back then to play or to buy a Neo Geo game. I remember even having the, having the money back in about, I think it was like 97, 98. I remember uh, calling up, back then it was S&K Home Entertainment. Their little division there. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy King of Fighters '97. You know, if I could, I thought I'd, that would be the, just the shit man, to have that game. But try as I might, I tried to get it. I remember calling the actual company, and some girl answered the phone, and I asked. I said, yeah, I want to order that game. And you could tell she just was like, thought I was some type of nutcase, and really didn't even fulfill my order. So, my nothing happened. I sat there and waited for them to send that game, and they never did, so... Like I said, in that time period, you couldn't find any games for the Neo Geo cartridge. So, basically, finding a game like this, to me, and playing it on the AES, something I've been wanting to do for... years. So, that's why it's so cool. It's not that it's, um, you know, it's something awesome like, you know, I don't know, like if you had, like, Sengoku 3, or something awesome like that, but to me this is a cool game. So anyway, that's all I want to say, share with you guys.